celebrate their beginnings. Uh, they celebrated this day since the 14th century. For according to tradition, St. Simon Stock was given the brown scapular by the Blessed Virgin Mary on this day in 1251. The Order of Carmel dates back to a group of Western hermits who um, in the 12th century decided to go to the Holy Land to Mount Carmel, which is a large plateau mountain overlooking uh, the Galilee, which is a plain. They imitated the prophet Elijah, who was up there praying and uh, defending the God of Israel. The group themselves built a small chapel dedicated um, to Our Lady in the 13th century. And then, uh, then this order formed, which has many great saints who are contemplative, who live a life of silence and and self and um, de devotion and penitence and uh, seek union with God. And we're very grateful. In order to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Now, mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that, fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in unity by the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The way of the just is smooth. The path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord. We look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit keeps within me vigil for you. When your judgments dawn upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O oh Lord, you mete out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O oh Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cried out in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth reads and cries out in her pains, so were we in your presence, O oh Lord. We conceived and wreathed in pain, giving birth to wind. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. But your dead shall live. Their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust. For your dew is the dew of light, and the land of shades give birth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Almighty has done things great. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. He has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this generation, from this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. The rich he sent away empty. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. He has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am meek and humble of heart. You yourselves will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On this passage, um, it's one of these things we we know about, and uh, yeah, there's lots of sermons about it. But uh, like we when it came up this past Sunday, it seems like what we when this passage comes up, the best thing to do is pray, pray for these things, take rid of our heavy burdens, uh, give us rest. And again, we got news um, yesterday about uh, in Pennsylvania, Governor Wolf shutting down things because of the coronavirus again, and these kind of things make us nervous and. Uh, um, and our, our life it seems to be up and down, a roller coaster. With, with so those issues are our personal issues, and um, it doesn't seem like this uh, situation helps our nerves. And so we pray then, come to me, all who labor and are burdened, I'll give you rest. Um, my yoke is easy, burden light. Lord our God, we take our heavy burdens, whatever it might be. And right now, I'm just ask you guys to think about them in your mind and your heavy burdens for a moment of silence. And then we'll pray for God to take them and give us rest. Oh Lord, you know our burdens, and they seem heavy on our hearts. But you also, again, say take them away and take my easy yoke and my burden is light. Lord, we then pray you give us the rest we need, give us the peace we need, deliver us from evil, deliver us from harm, deliver us from our heavy burdens. We give them to you. In place of the heavy burden, then, we ask your peace through Christ our Lord. With childlike trust, we gather together our needs and those for our community, our world, our nation. Bring them to the loving Father. For 
for Pope Francis, Bishop Persico, church leaders, they announce God's compassion, faithfulness, his healing grace, his love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our world, for its leaders, may God bring peace to every nation, every home, every heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those whose burdens seem too heavy to carry, may the Lord bring them hope, consolation, and rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For peace during this coronavirus restrictions, for control of the virus, and for healing of people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, St. Mark, St. James, may the Lord make us a refuge for the weary, loving support to one another, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the, the building of our economy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Those who have died, remember Jim and Ethel Lecker. May the Father welcome them into the eternal rest, the kingdom of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Any petitions you'd like to voice at this time? We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we submit these prayers to you. Hear and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we receive this bread we offer you. The fruit of the earth and the work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have received this wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, and we come our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Please offer you humble and contrite hearts. Pray my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And Receive, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people, with the sacrificial offerings we present, that through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation always, everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full. Of your glory, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name. 
name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. With Blessed Joseph, her spouse. With the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. Amen. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, how worthy should enter my room. You say the word, my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you this moment sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, you're already here. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, 
we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy, that we, who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary, may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, so tomorrow we have a, we'll be having two Masses. We'll be having the Mass uh, here at 815 with live stream at 815. And uh, then we'll also have a funeral Mass at 1030. The funeral Mass uh, will be uh, for uh, Jim Horvath. So uh, that will be Jim Horvath's funeral. Will be If you can come to support the family for the Horvath funeral, that would be great at 1030. We'll also have the 815. The Lord be with you. God's blessings upon you, the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank Speed you. to God. Have a good day. Thank you.